An urgent alert for all parents. It's been a devastating week for kids just trying to get to school. Five kids have been killed and seven more injured in five separate accidents at school bus stops. According to NC Public Schools, almost 3,000 vehicles illegally passed a stop school bus in North Carolina, and that was just during one day this year. Yeah, this video taken from a school bus camera gives you an idea of the dangers these kids are facing. You can see this group of students almost get hit by a car when it comes flying by the stop school oh. bus right there disturbing to see and now one local school district is finding an inexpensive way to protect its students. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us to explain the story. Brandon. Well, Sarah and Fred, it started when some school bus drivers in Catawba County had some concerns about kids getting onto the bus in the early morning darkness. So the solution reflective tape. All it took was an item worth just a few dollars for Shiloh and Natara Lambert to feel they can stand out when waiting early in the morning for the school bus. It's really it's dark. Really dark. Now with this reflective tape on their backpacks, they feel safe. I think I it's feel, cool. Yeah, I feel wonderful. But now, I, now cars can see me and I feel glad. The sisters were originally just two of a handful of students with this tape. But now thanks to an anonymous donation, Superintendent Dr. Matt Stover says every student who boards the bus during the early morning darkness will get their own tape. Again, our credit to our bus drivers. Thank you to them stepping up to say, hey, we got a problem. A problem only seeming to get worse. Just in the past week, we've seen tragedy at school bus stops across the country. Children hit and injured, even killed as they were getting ready to head to school. Dr. Stover says his district's been lucky with no serious incidents. He says they do have cameras on the buses to try to catch and punish drivers who speed through that stop bar. Regardless, the damage is already done if they've gone through the stop sign. One of the reasons for this early morning darkness is daylight savings, which will end this weekend. Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.